Today we're making keto pizza casserole, and this is unlike any of the other recipes out there. We have layers of cheese, sauce, pepperoni, and pull apart keto bread. This is one keto dinner that the whole family will enjoy. We're gonna first start by making our cheese layer. In a large bowl, you're gonna add two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese and 16 ounces of softened cream cheese, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Mix this together with an electric mixer until everything is creamy and smooth. And I know this seems like a lot of cheese, but this actually makes a really large casserole, so you could cut the ingredients by half if you don't wanna have this much of a pizza casserole. Next, we're gonna add this into a baking dish. The one I'm using is an eight by 10, but you can certainly use a nine by 13 as well. Once you've spread down your cheese layer, next we're gonna add some sauce. So I have a low carb marinara sauce going on this. I'm gonna have my favorite brands listed down below. I also have a recipe for a low carb pizza sauce on my website. I'll have that down below for you as well. You'll need three quarters of a cup of pizza sauce. Next, I'm gonna add two more cups of shredded mozzarella cheese on top. And I know, this is, once again, you're probably thinking this is so much cheese. Well, if it's too much cheese for you, then cut it in half or don't make it. But really, it adds so much flavor and it's really good. This is just kind of like one of those recipes that when you're craving pizza but want something different rather than keto pizza, you can make this. Next, we're gonna add a layer of sliced pepperoni. Then we're gonna set that aside and move on to the breading. So to a food processor, we're gonna add two cups of almond flour, a half a cup of low carb protein powder, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna pulse this together just to mix everything up. And then we're gonna crack in one egg, half a cup of melted Parmesan cheese, half a cup of melted butter, and two tablespoons of sour cream. Mix that together until you form a dough ball. And now if you didn't have a food processor, you can mix this together with an electric mixer. It just might take a little bit longer. And then next we're just gonna pinch this off into little balls and place it on top of our casserole. Now you're gonna see that I kinda of went with some larger balls and decided that I'm gonna make them smaller. So I do recommend maybe using like, making around half an inch or three quarters of an inch of a ball. And then we're gonna to top this with a garlic, melted butter and parsley mixture. And then this is gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees for around 15 minutes. You just wanna cook it until the pull apart bread starts to get golden brown on top. And now your cheesy keto pizza casserole is ready. I'll have the full instructions listed down below in the description box, as well as on my website, ketofocus.com. Mm -hmm. 